Hi, and welcome to Hammer's Hacks, brought to you by Gold Tip Arrows and V-Singer Stabilizers. I'm your host, Tim Gellingham, and on each episode, I'll give you a simple tip, something that you probably didn't even consider that will help you become a better archer in bow hunting. Okay, what, is, what we're going to cover this weekend on Hammer's Hack is, is kind of knock point setup and, and knock fit, right? So... You see, I see a lot of different things and I see a lot of different people make comments about leaving, a, you know, they leave a gap under their knock. So, you know, so the, uh, let me get closer to the camera here. So, you know, so that it doesn't pinch. But one thing people don't understand is once you touch the string off, once you touch it off, you have no more control over that. And that arrow, that string is kind of recovering from here to here. If you have any vertical knock travel in your bow system, that knock can be sliding up or down. And I learned this shooting a shooting machine. If I had any gap spread in my knock point, it would string arrows vertically. So if you look real close here, let me see if I can get real close to the camera. Okay, I tie a knock set like this. So I got a little bit more above the arrow than I do be below the arrow, or a little more below the arrow than above, okay? That's important in terms of creating down pressure and, and eliminating some of that pinch. And it creates a bigger, flatter area on the string. So when you have a sharper string angle, you know, you don't have as hard of a pinch, okay? On knock fit, knock fit's real critical. And, I, and I'm gonna do a video here, probably today later on, on lighted knocks. And we're gonna talk about some of the different types of lighted knocks. And one of the problems I see with some of them is the fact that they have a plunger in them, right? And so when, when you touch that knock off, all of a sudden you have this massive amount of back and forth play in that thing all over the place. It's not holding the knock right against the throat of the string all the way through the shot cycle. And these gold tip knocks, and I use this mini HD pin knock almost for everything, but most of our knocks are all made this way. They kind of up the string like this and then they flare from all angles. So that's important because it holds the knock up against the string all the way through the shot cycle. And when you're setting your knock fit up, I, I don't know how many times I've filled the call over the years. So like, hey, do you have a, a knock that fits my bowstring? And I I stopped for a second. I said, I'll tell you what. A knock mold costs $20,000 and a piece of string serving costs a dollar. What do you think I'm going to recommend? Okay. People have to learn how to work on their own bows. You know, people are afraid of it, you know, and pro shops you know, they're just sometimes the pro shops in this country are dumbed down to the 30 yard white tail bow hunter and they just don't have the knowledge base, nor do they care, nor can they spend enough time. So if you don't take personal responsibility for your own stuff, you're never going to have it optimal, right? So what you're looking for in knock fit is number one, I want to be able to rotate this string in the throat of the knock without it pushing the arrow around, okay? That tells you it's loose enough, right? Another standard you can use is simply to draw the string back a half of an inch and let go. If that knock leaves cleanly, and I mean cleanly, not jerky, just cleanly comes off, then your knock fits proper. Okay. Too tight a knocks can really rob accuracy. And I think a lot of, you know, bow hunters with a lot of not much experience, they like that. I want my knock to snap on the string because I don't want it to come off. You know, you don't want too tight of a knock. And the lower your poundage, if you're a woman or light poundage bow hunter, the lighter your arrow is, the lighter that knock bit's got to be because you want to make sure it's coming off with the least amount of effort. Hey, before you go, there's some great ways to keep getting even more info and tips. Subscribe to Gold Tip Archery Ops podcast to hear my conversation with top experts in archery and bow hunting. You can also check out Gold Tip on Facebook, Instagram, and our YouTube channel. Thanks for listening. And always start tough and stay true out there.